Hi, this is Carlos Cousins, and we are now going to be solving a parallel lines problem. What is important for us to notice here is that this angle here, angle C, is equal to this angle here, also angle C. And that's true because these are alternate exterior angles. When you have two parallel lines running next to each other, and then you have a transverse and here, the uh, alternate exterior angles are these. They are outside the two parallel lines and opposite each other. On the so, so they're alternate and they're exterior to the space within the two parallel lines. And these two here would be equal and these two here would be equal. So for this problem that comes in very handy, the alternate exterior um, rule. And that's because we're told that J and K are parallel to each other and then all we have to do is solve for C in terms of A and B. Well, we also know that all of the angles um, inside a triangle, if you add them all up, no matter what their measurements are, they add up to 180. So, uh, and we know that whatever value in here, in this side of the triangle, plus C will also have to add up to 180 because if you have a straight line, its angle is 180. And uh, no matter what at what angle you draw a line coming out of it to form a triangle or any other shape, um, if you add this side of the angle to that side of the angle, you should still end up with 180 degrees. So let's go ahead and label this C prime on the other side of C here. So we're going to know that um, C plus C prime is going to equal 180 degrees. And uh, let's go ahead and put the degree signs there. We also know that um, A plus B plus C prime equals 180 degrees, right? Because all of the angles inside a triangle must add up to 180. And then we can go ahead and substitute um, C for A and B. So we end up with... Um, yeah, well, we would know that C plus C prime equals 180, but we also know that C has to equal A plus B in order for A plus B plus C to equal 180 and C plus C prime to equal 180. So we can see right away that these two are equivalent. And we can go ahead and ignore the other answer choices. I hope that helped, and good luck with this sort of problem.